Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkfarm, the host of Best of Us Investors. Last week, I did a video in which I disclosed that my portfolio was up 95% since January 1st of 2020 through today, August uh, of 2021. But my subscriber base had grown uh, in that period of time and then leveled off at roughly 148,000 uh, most recently and, and has seen some actual decline. And so I ask in that video for input as to why it was happening. And, and I got a lot of input. It's probably more responses than I've ever received. And I made an effort to uh, read every one of them. I have read every one of them. And to respond particularly to those who gave constructive criticism. Uh, some said, you're doing everything right, Kerry. Don't worry about it. But I do worry about it. Basically, uh, to summarize the, summarize the five most, my five takeaways were I, I spend too much time selling the tribe concept, the concept that this is a team sport. If we work together, we can do better, and you can do that at the Discord. So I have done a video that is titled what is the tribe concept and how does it work? And so having made that video and published it last week, I'm going to back off on my efforts to sell the tribe. You don't follow up publicly on your past purchases. That's what this video is going to be about. And I think that was very constructive uh, criticism and input, and I thank you for it. You recommend too many stocks that have lost value. I recognize that. I uh, I I I put fifty percent of my portfolio in the, in the the big six, uh, and then I put the rest in speculative stocks that are in the areas that I think are going to grow over the next three to five years. And I've suffered some losses on it. So I'm going to do some follow up on that uh, to to give you a better perspective on why the why I've endured those losses and what I think is I haven't also uh, shared with the general public when I bail when I get out that I do on the discord I um, text everybody uh, that are a member of the patreon uh, of every one of my trades so that I recognize um, my videos are too repetitive I'm a specialist I, I do not try to invest in everything, so they are going to be repetitive. I, I do most of my videos about those few areas that I think are going to be give me exponential growth in the future. And then there was the, the, the message of that I get too political. I don't know exactly what that means. I have spoke about China, and that has to do with my uh, representation of the risk that's involved in, in China right now. And then I have some feeling that I'm either a Republican or a Democrat, of which I am neither. Uh, so I basically vote my heart, and I, I'm not going to tell you any more about it than that. So what I want to do today is go back and look at some stocks that I have recommended, that I have bought, and that I continue to hold that might be of interest to you. They are in, in Nutella, Beam, CRISPR, Editus, and Caribou. They are all stocks that are involved in the field of genome therapy. And I want to show you uh, where I bought them, why I bought them, and where I think they're going, and why, thus why I continue to hold them. I think this will give um, those of you who have followed my lead a better feeling of where, why I'm doing this, and then you can make a decision based on what I'm sharing with you, whether you want to continue to hold them. To do that, I've constructed a graph, and uh, let me take you to that and show you that and explain my holdings. What I did here was construct a chart to give a representation of the success I've had with Intella and how it might relate 
to the other genome therapy stocks that I own. So what I've done here is the main graph is Nutella, and I've shown you where I bought it, and that was around December the 1st of 2020. And then the colored lines show you the tracking of Nutella, and then once they got through their first clinical trial, needle in arm, and had success, this is what happened. As you can see, it shot way up, and then it retreated, and then it rebounded again, and this is where it's at right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting with Nutella up roughly 259%. I made uh, multiple purchases of it, but the first one was back here on December the 20th. Then what I did is said, okay, these other stocks that I own, uh, Beam, CRISPR, Editus, and Caribou, are all in the same general genome therapy fields, but they haven't made it to clinical trials yet. Editus says that they will have clinical trials the, somewhere in probably October, November, December. So I'm projecting the results of those clinical trials will show up either positive or negative sometime after the first of the year. I'm saying possibly as late uh, as roughly in April. If then it performs relative to what Nutella did, it will rocket up to here. Currently on, uh, this is CRISPR, I'm showing you that I'm up 9%. I've done the same thing with Beam. I'm showing you when I bought it, roughly August the 2nd. And where it's at now, I'm up 12%. And if, again, they get through clinical trials, this is the projection that I say or I believe they will go on. I could be right. I could be wrong. I did the same thing then for Editus. This is here. I bought it back in uh, January of 2021, January 21st. I have gone down substantially. But you see right now I'm down up uh, 9%. And again, I project that if, in fact, they have a uh, positive clinical trial, it will uh, duplicate the, the movements of Intella, and I'll be up some 200%. I've done that again on Caribou. Um, so I've done all, what, one, two, three, four, five of them that I own. What happens to Nutella now that it's through its first stage, and that usually involves the uh, use to or the exposure to their drug by less than 12 people. Now that they have gone into stage two and they're testing it on somewhere between 30 and 50 people, I suspect if that happens, this will skyrocket and I'll go up to somewhere over 400%. That's the same path that I believe that these will follow. So, am, is there a guarantee here? No, there is not. But this is cutting edge technology, and this is where I want to be. So, that's my full disclosure on where I am, when I bought, uh, I haven't sold anything, where I'm at currently, and where I think I will be probably sometime in the middle of next year. Okay, from that you can see I have some grand expectations from this genome therapy segment. I believe that when in fact uh, they get through their first clinical trial, their second, their third, I'm going to have some massive uh, increases in their values. I think as, as these stocks mature, they will mature some of the my holdings in my genome sequencing stocks. And that's the other, the next area that I'm going to do the similar charts and graphs on to show you why I'm in those stocks and why I think they will give me that kind of return. The other thing, then the third video I'm going to do is in those auxiliary 
um, medical stocks such as 23andMe and some of the stocks that are using artificial intelligence to help pharmaceutical companies make quicker and more accurate uh, antibodies for those things that are going on in our body and give you so, a feel as to why I own them, what I think they're going to do, and I'm going to then make this a part of my regular uh, video production. Now, what I want to share with you and be very open with you, those people who support me, and I do live in a capitalist society that says that it is of my best interest and everybody's best interest if I make a profit and I run a business at a profit so that I can sustain. So with that in mind, I will not only produce, as I produce videos that I think are meaningful and moving uh, for the stocks that I recommend, I will distribute those videos to my para, uh, Patreon members before I do to the public, because I want to give them an advantage because they support me. I know that some of you feel that I should be doing this free of charge. One of, one of you even said that it was immoral for me to do this. I suggest you move to another country. I might suggest Denmark. It's very socialist. It does not really uh, promote entrepreneurialism. And uh, that's what I am. I'm in this to not only share my knowledge, but to make some money and to make some money for the people who work with me to run that discord and to pay the bills associated with it. And I think you also need to know that here on, on YouTube, if you s click on this and watch this video and watch the ads, I'll make about two and a quarter cents on your click. That's, that's the economics of this. Uh, where I ma can make some money is if in fact you join the Discord and become a part of uh, the capitalist system. <clears throat> okay, that's my take on this and I'll continue to take your suggestions to heart and make this a better channel. By the way, I would like you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment.